Decision time. What to do? What to do? Well, you know, I've got two things here. I could use my my caulking. I could use my caulking here. And this is this is just white silicone caulking. And I used to have another one that was really super sticky for um, toilets and kitchen sinks, you know, caulking around a kitchen sink, stuff like that, where it was waterproof and it really was sticky. I, but I don't have that anymore. I used it all up. Now I have this. This is mainly for painters. All-purpose acrylic latex caulk plus silicone. And I could fill that hole up with that and put it in there. And I might, I might have to do that, but I wish, you know, I used to carry, if you watch my videos from, from years ago, I used to always carry some liquid nails, this construction adhesive that comes in a, a tube like this. I would use that. And I would put that in there, let it dry for a couple days, and be done with it. And that would work. What else, what else could I use? This is, there's no label on it because the label came off. This was liquid. This is us. Uh, crazy glue gel. This is gel and I still have about that much in there. See there? Yeah, you know what? I think I have enough of that. Liquid glue. Liquid. <laughs> liquid. I always want to call it liquid nails, but it's crazy glue gel. And if you had Gorilla Glue, you could put that in there that adhes ad adheres to wood. And I think I have the, the lid. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit and see. No, it's not. It's not coming out. That's the one thing you always gotta mess with on these. Is when it dries, it usually covers up the little hole in there. Like just try to clean the outside out, off. What do I? What do I have here to poke that hole? what I got. It's just a broken piece of a, a paper clip and I bent that out and fashioned a little hook on it. See there? A hook on it for different things to grab things. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna try to poke that. There it goes. That's that's what I like about a bigger bottle of crazy glue, especially crazy glue gel. If you get one of those little, real small ones, small tubes, you use it once, you basically you might as well throw the rest away because you think, oh, I'll save that for another time. Get ready, and it, it, it either dries up, you can't get the tube working, and you try to squeeze it, nothing happens. You know what I'm talking about. So that's why that's why I got this big container of it. Jeez, I didn't know I was gonna to have to do this today. So, now, I'm, I've just got a little piece of cardboard down here. I'm gonna kind of squirt some. Make sure, make sure it's coming out. Yes, it's coming. Okay, so I can take that and put that all around here. Uh, let's see here. I think, you know, I think what I need to do is get you down here, down and dirty. I'm gonna lower you down. I'm, I've got this on a tripod, so I'm gonna raise, raise up a few of the legs. And I'm gonna keep this thing going. See if you can see all that. I thought I thought I was going to take some caulking and just spooge that in there, but I think overall this is going to this is going to hold it better. I just don't want to get it all over myself, I, and I got to make sure. I got to 
to make sure I get enough in there. Man. I don't know. Let's just try it out and see. I'm, not, I'm still not, uh, yeah, I guess, you, I guess you can see that. You got a slight shadow on there, but hey, it is what it is, right? I don't, I don't want it to, to run all over the place either. I'm gonna take, I should take a little masking tape here in case it drips on the cabinet. I hate working with this stuff sometimes, especially on how I've got to get it in there at an angle. Like that. Okay. If it starts running, I guess it can run down on the masking tape, right? Okay, I guess we're all right with that. Okay, I, never, I never really know exactly what I'm going to do until I get into it with stuff. Now, if I can just squeeze, squeeze that in there. There it comes. It's almost, almost like I got, I might have to cut the tip. I think I might have to cut the tip a little bit bigger. I want it to flow out a little bit more than that. So I'm going to cut the tip, cut the tip of this off, just the hair. Let's see if I can't get a slightly bigger hole. See, it's coming out. It's up, it's up on the... Uh, okay. Now I, now I can put some on here too. I just gotta get it on this. Uh, that's drip, some of it's dripping off, but that's why I got this cardboard down. This stuff, you just don't want to get it all over the place hands and, and on your floor, especially, especially your countertops. I, I had this one time and I put it on my, my countertop and I had a, a uh, what was it, what type of countertop, a granite countertop and it got on there and I, and I tried to scrape it off and it was really hard to get off. It almost left a mark and I had to get it off with, with uh, a knife, you know, like a razor blade. Crazy glue gel. I've got a ton left for other things. That's why I like to get it in a, in a little bottle, kind of like this, which is a lot bigger than what you can normally get it in, because I can use this many, many more times. And this was only like, I don't know, four dollars, four fifty, less than five dollars, I believe it was. And those other ones you can get two for a buck, or maybe a dollar fifty-nine, 
or something like that, but they don't, I'm telling you, they don't last very long and they dry out. The next time you wanna use crazy glue gel, get something like this. And I, I usually use the crazy glue gel because if this was just crazy glue, it's just like water and it gets all over the place, I wanted that gel to get in there, right? And, and I, I'll use this for carpet repairs to fix carpet strands that are loose. And I've used that for, for quite a few different things, okay? So I've always got it at the ready, okay? Now I'm gonna let that dry while I'm letting that dry. See, I decided to do that first because while I'm letting that dry, I'm gonna get in here and I've gotta, I've gotta decide. I've gotta get this piece in and I can, I can work on this. I don't wanna, you know, I, I think I can get this all the way. And you know what? I could put crazy glue gel on this too when I get ready to put it in. I was thinking I was just gonna use white caulking and I can use just the white caulking or I could use a little bit of crazy glue on this, kinda fit it in there and, then, and, and also put some caulking on here too. I mean, I know I'm gonna have to put some caulking to fill this up, but I gotta, obviously this is not gonna go in until I do some rasping on it and I got my sheetrock knife here and um, I can work on that. I've got a little screwdriver. This screwdriver, see it's coming in handy again. And I've got a little wood rasp here. Here's my rasp. This is for thicker, coarse and fine. And then I also, it's also tapered, it's rounded. Co coarse and fine coarse and fine, okay? I use that for metal, but I also, I can also use, I also use it for wood. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to work on this. And, it, and it's like, man, why, why can't it just pop back in? Well, when it was in, I think what happened was, it, it see if I hold it like that, it, I can almost fit it in there. And I can't fit in the bottom. So that tells me when this whacked out, this thing popped out, obviously this direction and it kind of went out. So I'm gonna have to be strategic as to how I can fashion this and get it in there. I want a little bit of a slop once I fit it in there nice and tight because that's gonna allow me to put glue on here and put the mastic or the caulking back in there. So I'm gonna work on that. While I'm working on that, you know, that's gonna take me, I don't, I don't know, 10 minutes or so to shave on it and stuff. While that's happening, that's gonna get that hinge time to dry. And I'm hoping that before I get done with making this video, this is gonna be dry enough for me to put the door back on there, make my, my total adjustments for the door and all that kind of stuff. Cause I wanna complete this project before Momi gets back. She's off exercising this morning and I thought I would get up after she left. I, I didn't even eat breakfast this morning because I wanted to get out here and get this all done and made before she comes back. That's my goal. And stick with me and I'll show you how to fix this. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. And if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel. Hey. I try to show you things in live time and show you if I can do it in average show, so can you.